fourth worker arrested at a daycare for abuse. Update to a story we brought you last week. And now four Eunice Daycare Center employees have been arrested and they are charged. Looking at the mug shots, Eunice police arrested Catherine Michelle Fontenot on Monday. Joining Chastity Monique Gilroy and Caitlin Andrea Pont Ducet. Okay, she's on the right. They were arrested last Friday. Alyssa Eve Dupree on the left here on the first. Images of Fontenot and Gilor have not been released. All four women, though, are on felony warrant for six counts of principal to cruelty to juveniles. So these are serious charges. Disturbing footage. Obtained by local news earlier this month shows employees duct taping children to chairs, scaring them with masks to the point of tears, throwing cheese at their faces. Employees are seen laughing as the children cry for help. According to a family, to former employees, the abuse had been going on for years. And there you see some of the screen grabs here. It's just despicable as a parent to think that your child will be going through this and you're not around to help them. Additional information via records of the Louisiana Department of Education show the daycare has been subjected to 15 inspections, among which nine came back flagged for deficiencies. Again, accountability along the way. According to Eunice Chief of Police Kyle LaBeouf, the investigation is still ongoing. So again, if true, okay. And, and there's footage, Jackson, and we showed some of the screen grabs, and we described what the footage shows. It's despicable, but ongoing for years. All of these deficiencies, nine out of 15. What's the purpose of doing these inspections if we're not catching these repeat and widespread offenses? Well, I think uh, that really comes down to the enforcement. Who, uh, how are we enforcing these inspections? Because you know they came back with nine uh, deficiencies nine different times, and oftentimes, uh, whether you know whether it's departments like this or auditing elsewhere, you know the Pentagon comes back and they miss trillions of dollars. So so much of it is just you find the information, but is there actually going to be anything done about it? And that's really what it comes down to, um, because I mean this is like really as low as you can get in terms of you know on the human spectrum in terms of what we're able to do to each other, the pain we're able to inflict, how many things have to go wrong for you to be that type of a sadist against children. Um, and then basically maneuver yourself into a situation to where you can carry that out because you can hide in plain sight in some type of way. I mean, they were doing that because they wanted to do it. There's no other good reason for it. Um, so the fact that these types of individuals can slip past and then um, our early childhood education uh, is incredibly unaffordable. When I was in St. Louis, I was uh, we were watching the fight, and some dude was talking about twenty four hundred dollars a month uh, for daycare. You know, so again, like people are paying this type of money, uh, we should be able to trust the people's hands who we leave our children with. Um, but we have to enforce things when we find that there's discrepancies, and they saw that here. Yeah, and I can't help but wondering as we wind down on this one, Jackson, when we, and if we have the mugshots to put back up, we look at, um, well, white tears, while the screen grabs show at least one or more children of color. Louisiana has a history, of course, that I hope we all have a common understanding of. It is amongst um, the bottom when it comes nationally to education. And the like, but I wonder, and these are felony charges. I do wonder, and I want to reserve and follow the story through conclusion if someone will feel sorry for the wrong party in this one. I'll give you the last word. Oh, I'm sure some someone somewhere will. But perhaps this one is so egregious that they won't air it on television or, or take it up as part of their uh, of their marketing. I think we may not see this one for that. Now again, the the Alabama boat thing that's different, you know. But this is involving children, so I think it'll, if there's anyone supporting this, they'll keep it on the hush. Keep it on the hush. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I, I, hopefully. I mean.
Yeah. We'll see. It might be able to check and see if there's a GoFundMe already for these perps, and then I'll let you know.